Alright, welcome to vlog number three. Um, it's about making stencils and um, the basic, I, I'll explain, I'll do a voiceover for it. But the basic procedure is find a huge amount of paper um, to make a huge amount of stencils or find a piece of paper that is thicker um, or you can use a transparency. I found um, printing paper that was uh, shiny, plasticky on one side, um, and then I had an image in mind, and I used an exacto knife to cut it out, um, and it went from there. Um, people get really much more intricate. This is the basics on how I make stencils, me personally. Um, all right. Enjoy. Here's the design. A lot of times I'll make a grid in order not to mess up and go off kilter. Um, you have to remember that in your drawing you're going to um, be cutting out the spaces that are going to be black or white and you need to make it one continuous piece so that way the negative space um, it just needs to be one continuous piece um, if you mess up one important part see like like so if you mess up you can always fix it with masking tape and that's acceptable I've done that before so you've got your um, foamy um, makeup sponge and then acrylic paint. What I do is I just dab it on. And then when you lift it up, there you go. With this, I'm using some sheet that I found to make a banner. And again, you're just dabbing it on. Um, I've ironed the sheet first because wrinkles will be detrimental. And then afterwards, in order to set the acrylic paint, I iron it. Um, even when I'm making posters. Alright, the end of that segment. Um, the band that's going to be playing is G-String Orchestra out of New Orleans. Um, I'm going to list um, my Etsy so you can look at other stencils I've made that I have for sale in the form of banners and t-shirts. Um, I'd be really interested in seeing your stencils and I guess I will see you for episode number four.
All right, the end of that segment. Um, the band that's gonna be playing is G-String Orchestra out of New Orleans. Um, it is... I'm gonna list um, my Etsy so you can look at other stencils I've made that I have for sale in the form of banners and t-shirts. Um, I'd be really interested in seeing your stencils. And I guess I will see you for episode number four. <laughs>